plan now is to do the same thing on Minmus. Deploy um, deploy all those little modules on Minmus. But yeah, uh, what about the signs? Uh, are we gonna get alerts? How often do we get alerts about those little modules collecting science anyway? We already got a little base module sitting on Minmus. I mean, I'm a little bit worried because we aren't getting any alerts from the Sentinel telescope at all. On to Minmus. And there's an awkward orbit to get to Minmus from, so we'll probably just eject out first and then figure it out. Just want to get a little bit out. That'll be best. Gonna be messy anyway. Very clear about the messages. Okay, well, let's hope. Well, I don't want to use the RCS. I thought the Sentinel Telescope would be clear about messages too, but it hasn't been saying anything. For 11 years. Worried. I know it's passively spotting things, but it should tell you, right? Oh! <gasps> what happened? What blew up? Batteries? Exploded due to overheating? How? Oh! Those are still on. I see. Okay. Oh. We're doing the wrong thing completely. Gosh darn it. Well, it's more messed up than I thought it would be. <laughs> I knew this would be messed up, but not more messed up than I thought it would be. Now that explains the Delta V readings. Okay, now what I want to do is add a maneuver there. Well, I don't know. In realism overall, it used to send messages, so I don't know what they're doing. Uh, probably Polarish is best. Okay, if you take more than 60 seconds, tell me so that I can give you permission again. Next days. Alright. Hill and Jankot, head out to Minmus. Unable to transmit deployed si What? 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 Deployed science cluster has no comnet connection to home. Now, will it retain? I mean, this, I, I presume that's because the, that part of the moon is just facing away from Kerbin. But does it retain the science and transmit it at the next opportunity or not? If it keeps saying that, we might have to check up on it and arm its. I, I don't know. It's got its comm thing on. I still, I think, still. Oh, I, I need to play like a hundred different games, Mr. Doobie, so I mean, I can't pick. Well, yeah, I, I put two ep uh, episodes of Outer Worlds up there. I've got plenty of Outer Worlds to post, but I, I didn't see a whole lot of people watching that, so I don't know if I should post any more of it. Like a lot of the RPG games, people just don't particularly want to watch it. They would rather play it, I think. Okay, actually our base is right here, but Minmus rotates quite quickly, so not a big deal. Alright, all this stuff is fueled up. Oh, that's nice that your teacher was a test pilot, that's pretty good. It's uh it's an interesting aircraft, alright. Still need to slap an X-15 on top of it and see what that can do. Because <laughs> NASA had planned on doing that with the XB-70. Didn't quite get around to it, but... It'd be complicated, of course, the whole separation procedure between the XB-70 and the X-15, but... 
was an idea. I think we can uh, go down this time around. But we need to make sure we have communication and everything. And it's not looking like the... Because Kerbin's over there. We, we should wait until this goes over on this side. Not right now. Oh, we lost electric charge, did we? Oh, gosh darn it. Win a big O. Good thing the RCS still works when you lose electric charge. I think we could probably just tilt the orbit and land there. That'll give us some extra daylight to work with. Otherwise, if we wait until this point, we're not going to have much daylight. Just to... No, no, no. We already did a night landing uh, with only uh, four of the eight baguettes. We did Ike first, same basic idea, but we had we had four of the baguettes instead of eight, so it can do Ike with half the fuel. This was the this was originally an Ike setup. I don't know about Moho. I never know about Moho. Moho, Moho and Mercury are both bad news as far as I'm concerned. Stock ions are are nice <laughs> compared to actual ions. I will enthusiastic enthusiastically use stock ions once we get them. That might spur on our first moho trip in fact. We have not sent anything to moho so far in this series. Yeah, but you're going to Moho, so the solar panels generate more power anyway. And they're like one kilonewton or whatever. That's huge. I mean, the ISS couldn't power a one kilonewton ion thruster in real life. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do the initial maneuver to Moho with it. We'll see about that. There are options. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. I, like, snapped to the ground. Alright, Bill. You first. Great, the slow ops of Minmus. We've totally taken surface. Nope, we haven't. <laughs> Definitely did the EVA report with Val, but I guess we didn't have the ability to take surface samples at the time. Haven't gotten another message from the moon one yet. Sprint there, then to walk. Maybe I haven't noticed. Okay, we'll get the uh, scientists to do the other ones. Although I, I suppose we can expect that we need one more solar array, so we'll just have Bill deploy that right now. Come to think of it, a deployable battery would be nice for the nighttime side. Makes sense. may complain a lot about not having a relay to talk through. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of options. We've got a communication satellite around it. Um, well, not that one. That one. So, I don't know. Hopefully not too much. I guess we'll be leaving that there too, so... So far, I wish the moon base would complain more. It hasn't. Uh, it had a. Uh... It 
It gave me one message and that's it. Well, hopefully, but it hasn't said anything about any signs being delivered. And it hasn't delivered any signs, so... Nice that it might have picked up a relay, but... And now the completely useless weather analyzer. <laughs> so... Power, power available 6, they all should say they're happy, powered and connected. That one is in an invalid situation though. Okay, um, we're just gonna leave them here, Jan, Cod, and Bill, for the time being. Ionizer to a do nothing? What's ionizer? That's the thing, I don't think we've unlocked it. I want to see if we have some transmittable signs. Keep, keep, that one we can transmit. Okay, but... So far I don't know if we've gotten anything from these things. Vacuum version of the weather station? Okay, well we should have those. Alright, we need to figure out how to get 250 or so science. Because I'm getting the feeling that deploying all these little stations will not produce that in any good amount of time. Can I expect some science from them in some short term? Stop telling me to explore I go oh, dock two vessels around it. We've done that too. On or around Ike. Okay, well I'm just gonna have my it didn't say uh launch anything new. It does say it's trivial, so alright. Um position a satellite. Well that needs other stuff. Science da data from surface of Ike. All right, well, that'll give me a reason to do another Ike landing. Moon impactor? Okay, let me do these little things around Ike first, because we've already got stuff around Ike to do. Hopefully, unless they're... They failed to tell me that I need it to be a new thing. Okay, I think they're in the base. Or, oh, not they. Filney. Filney's in the base. <laughs> Filney's all alone here on Ike. If I... let me take the surface sample and transmit it, maybe that'll be good enough. We probably have another surface sample in the pod already. Oh, it's already in here. Okay, hold on. Cancel. Alright. Take it to the pod and try that. I don't know if the pod's got a connection to the relay or not. Kerbal not named no Lone Star? I don't know. Ask the Kerbal's parents. I did not put that flag right there. <laughs> Hmm, that's awful suspicious. We don't have a comm connection. Uh-huh. Alright. Um, well, we'll transmit the one on that side then. Walking palm trees? I don't know about walking palm trees. Ike Sonted. How the deployable science? Well, I haven't actually seen it work yet. We just deployed it. I have no definite evidence that it actually works. I forget which... Well, this definitely... I think it's the southern one. 
southeastern. Okay, transmit that. Barely got that done. Okay, that fulfilled that contract. Now we just need to dock two vessels. I'm gonna have uh, Phil need take all the stuff from here. We've done a crew report here, right? Yeah. And bring it back up. Then we'll get that docking contract. Once every two or three days. Okay. The wiki is barren? Well, one thing we found out here is that we didn't have enough power. And uh, it looks like the amount of power the solar panel generates is dependent on how many stars your engineer has. And Philney isn't even an engineer, he's a pilot, so our solar panel is only getting one power, which is not enough for all the instruments. Do you know how to pack them and deploy them? Woohoo. Only one will work. I think it's probably power. Even with more power and with engineers? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Let me make sure to clear my messages so that if we see what's happening. We haven't gotten any signs from them so far, so. But they say that they're, well not these, but the ones on the moon and Mimbus say that they're all working. Deployable science is janky? Probably. I mean, it's new. Everything new is gonna be sort of iffy. As somebody mentioned, ducted fans. Uh, might might be. Yeah, I definitely added the the Mass Effect stuff in here. A future for the Krogan. Yeah, that's a dead giveaway, all right. Oh, why is it not showing the now playing? 1.7 was it? Oh, okay, fine, fine. Well, then, then it's not new and it should be working perfectly. Perfectly, I say. Not the end of KSP 1? Well, how are they gonna add new versions? It'll be 1.9 and then what? KSP... They, they can't say... KSP 2.0 for... That's KSP 1 and then there's also a KSP 2. I mean, that's just... Too much. Raider Nick might not be ready for KSP 2, but I'm ready just so that they stop doing KSP 1. <laughs> it's enough, it's good. Just let let the modders do finish their version. I don't believe in Minecrafts that don't have the Farlands. So there. <laughs> I don't even know what 1.9 is supposed to be, so don't look at me. Yes, a full release is supposed to mean scope complete. Actually, beta is supposed to mean scope complete. Alpha is where you're supposed to introduce new features, technically. Well, I mean, you can, you know, fix things, bugs and such, once you do a full release, but... And I guess DLCs are separate. I mean, I guess that's general game convention that if you have a DLC, that's, that's not a... Violation of the release, but 1.3. Yeah, 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 I think I pretty much married that version. Yeah, promise multiplayer. Well, I guess we'll have to wait for KSP 2 for that. I don't think they have any plans on introducing it to KSP 1. It's not happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they even uh, said they, they would try it to do it in KSP2, to be honest. Not easy. Yeah. Surely, surely nobody's gonna think multiplayer Fallout would be a good idea. Gas Planet 2, oh well. Look, we've got, we've got Copernicus and we've got other planet packs. We really don't need them to add another gas planet. <laughs> I, I don't need that. It's fine. If I want to add a gas planet, I can totally add my own gas planet. No problem. That's just ancient KSP lore stuff. That's not 
anything we need in our lives. Wasn't that- that was a docking between two things- dock two vessels on or around Ike. With a docking port or a claw to achieve this- hey! It didn't say it had to be new vessels. These two vessels docked? Shouldn't it be complete? Gosh darn it, Kerbal. You didn't say it had to be new vessels? Is considered relay? So what? I mean, I, I a relay is a vessel, right? You think that's the cause? Well, all right. Let's say uh, station, and I'll redock it and see. We will have an instant test. Impact science. Well, we can. We'll have something special for that. Definitely want science somehow. If you think the best way to get science is an impactor, that's fine by me. I'm all for it. Ah, okay. Nope. No luck. I think they meant that it needed to be a new vessel, but they didn't actually specify that in the contract. Effective range on the seismometer. Uh, any idea on well like I'm sure we can manage it mm, let, let's just verify docking on around it doesn't say anything about new vessels a few times things get ramming together is encouraged okay it encouraged it enough so what's the smallest thing that we can use as an impactor Mass and velocity? Oh, there's this uh, mass requirement. Uh, does the seismometer say how much? Stop trying to kill Kerbals. All, all my Kerbals except for the original ones were free ones that I rescued. But I have need of them. Tourist is an impactor that pays you. It doesn't pay you unless you actually... Uh... Oh wait, it said something. It said something. Surface deployed mystery glue observations from the moon's surface. It only said it when I actually turned to it. Has generated and successfully transmitted 23.693. Very specific. Science points. Alright, well. Anyway, this is the seismometer. It doesn't tell me how much. The science rate is only 45%. And currently it's unpowered because it's in the dark. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um. Made a 1.5 ton impactor for testing on Moho and got 1700 meters per second. Fill the bar. Okay. Alright. We'll do something. The, the good thing about doing a single stage to impact is that you do have a lot of mass because you're carrying all the, you know, tanks with you. Should suffice for a moon and well, it'll have to be empty though. You know, uh, this its uh, full mass is 1.6 tons. Uh, empty is gonna be much lighter. Airflow separation after every donut. You mean this extra drag per donut? I didn't realize. I mean, are you talking about how the game will actually calculate it or how it would work in real life? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't care. I know, I understand how it would work in real life. I'm talking about the game. I'm talking about the game. I'm talking about how the game physics reads the donuts. Still draggy. I mean, you can be surprised, you know. Sometimes the things that you think are gonna cause drag just don't cause drag. Well, that was, that's worse performance. I mean, it'd be nice, but unfortunately the big problem with uh, stock SRBs is that they all don't have enough thrust for the job that they would do. So it sucks. They all need much more thrust. Lots and lots of thrust. I want to ram this thing really fast into the ground, darn it. Alright. Go. Oh god, um, um, no, no, 
Oh. Right. Um This is awkward. I I should have auto started earlier, yes. Um this is this is not gonna work. Uh, if I point it at prograde, then it starts to the prograde itself starts to deviate. But we may have a condition. Which abort mode cover? Uh, usually, you have have the range safety officer destroy the bloody thing, right? Well, that got straightened out. Well, it's bored to orbit now, yeah. But you know, abort modes are generally only used for crewed missions, right? Otherwise, it's just... just destroy the bloody thing. How much of the wiggle was the arrow of the donuts? Well, the joint has to have part of the blame. Could be the baguettes, too. Let's not... Let's not uh, single out the donuts necessarily. Legendary, yeah. It'd be it'd be like something actually launched a weapon at it. This looks like some sort of futuristic weapon. Oh no, we lost comms right there. Ah, uh, shucks. Please. No, come on, pick that thing up, pick that thing up. Where is the moon anyway? Oh, the moon's way back there. We can still hit it. Just pick up, pick that thing up. Pick that thing up. I think with these antennas are not good enough. Yeah, no, we, we sent a uh, moon one recently. Hibusa 2 was not really an impactor. I wouldn't say so. Uh... It's much more finesse than that. I did extend the antenna, yeah. But I think combined they don't have enough range. Because they're the big range is only when they're uh, communicating with the bottom. Well, that's X, me pressing X and Z. It doesn't work because I have a joystick. Well, now it's... The fanciest interplanetary mission ever. But it doesn't have enough comms to actually be an interplanetary mission. So I mentioned Moho. It might be bound for Moho. <laughs> we need more comms. We need, I told you I should have put all four antennae. It should have, we should have gone full Sputnik with it. Gosh darn it. We'll put six. I don't know. We need more antennae. That's all I know. I don't know if it'll actually impact it somewhere sometime, to be honest. Uh, it might be just stuck there permanently. Well, I mean... Even the previous launch didn't fail-fail. It was just a little bit awkward. Speaking of Yoda, have, has anybody watched The Mandalorian? I have not, so watch out. But uh, just in terms of general impressions, is it all about Baby Yoda now? You have zero Kerbal? Can't tell, uh, I mean. Which call it? Is it uh, has is it good? Good series so far. Baby Yoda rules. <laughs> Only thirty minutes per episode. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, that might be promising. I like things with better pacing. Which I would just 
play the games, darn it. Or read the books. I don't know if I want... I should at least do those first. So, you'd like a Silmarillion? That's complicated. Oh, we lost communication right when we were supposed to start burning. Well, at least I didn't start burning yet. Okay, why did we lose communication? We've got a 3,000 kilometer combined range and the satellites right there. Come on, pick up that station right there. There we go. Well, we can just go. No, don't worry about bioelliptic transfers. We can just go to the moon. It's an off-plane transfer at worst. It's actually, yeah, it's just an off-plane transfer. Bioelliptic transfer, honestly. There are times and places for bioelliptic transfers. This is not one of those. <laughs> I mean, see, we we got a normal, we got a happy little transfer, just fine without anything weird. It's it's just not gonna cut down on the delta v necessary. Nor is it complicated to do this option. I don't know if I can directly go at it. I think it's possible. I mean, I don't care about getting into orbit per se. I don't quick save. Besides, quick loading is disabled. It's against the rules. Olden days, right. This is... There's, there's only one case where I aimed at the moon and... Well, maybe a few cases, and that was always with the warp drive. Five kilometers is extreme? Okay. I don't think the it's gonna rotate much more than that. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm leaving a little bit of room. I don't know... ETA, it's only 35 minutes. It doesn't rotate that fast. It's not like Minmus. And we, we are on the communication side, so... I think we can pull it in more now. And a little bit further north. Ever work for something moving? If you're going past the speed of light to the moon, it, the, the moon's movement is pretty negligible. We need time to make sure that we plunge at extreme velocities. Okay, um... Alright. Uh, we should be able to just point at the target now. I hope we don't actually kill the entire setup or something. Too bad it's in the dark. What's the distance? I think we'll be close enough. Uh, science cluster is not powered. Unable to process seismic event. No, we plunged into the surface at 1,870 meters per second. Dang you, Kerbal. We need batteries for these stupid experiments in the dark. Why don't they have batteries? Then a school gamer knew where it was at. Now I know why he wanted the batteries. Most impressive impactor for the moon you've ever seen? Thank you. It was nearly the impactor velocity for um, the real moon. Normally those headed in at 2,500 meters per second. 
Okay. I think I've had enough for today. Honestly. Feel like we're sort of wobbly. We need we need more focus. Something but we need those calm dishes to get away from carbon. <laughs> I want more science, please. Why do I want to class the asteroid into orbit around Duna? Interesting. You know? Alright, I bite. <laughs> we we'll do this. That'll be next time. So we'll have a we'll have a we'll have another focus. We'll we'll uh we'll be towing a class C asteroid for science into our orbit around Duna, which we have communications for at least. So we've got three, oh, four options for potential targets for this, but then we have to boost it all the way to Duna? I think I've done a bad thing. <laughs> I think I've made a very bad decision. How heavy are Class C asteroids again? I know it's the medium, I mean mass, I mean tons. ISRU and drills. Do we have the drills yet? We don't even have ore containers yet. Oh no. This is this is not good. No no no. How many tons? I know it is tons. <laughs> Everything is tons. How many tons? No, it's not all the tons, that's class E. Uh we need five hundred and fifty just to get that stuff. Well, hopefully some of the science will trickle in. You know what? I'm gonna time warp. <laughs> Let me see if we get some science. Watch out for flashiness. It's like 13 science per week or something. Nuclear tug? I don't think we even have the nuclear engine yet, Miko. I would like to use a nuclear tug. No more? There's no more. It's not that they're, they're not giving me any more. Uh oh. We've we've hit a plateau. Maybe they're in the dark. I don't know. I wanna see where Jewel is at. Maybe we can send that Jewel probe out. If we can get to if we can get to 550 science. Yeah, they they're just not sending any more now. They're not sending any more. 45 to 200 tons. No, oh, it's not that bad, I suppose. But... Duna's still pretty big. Well, we'll have to see. We'll come up with a strategy, and next time that I do this career mode, we will have to work on that. At least it'll give us something to do.